hey you guys i just want to say like i love filming these videos because i'm literally just in like my house pants also i'm sitting on top of two chairs so you guys can kind of see a little bit of my outfit the growth of my channel is insane and i'm obsessed i've always wanted to do a video like this just because this has slowly become a part of my life i do want this to be like a new series one of the reasons why i'm making this video is because it was something that i was looking for when i was interested in starting ballet but i didn't feel like there was enough videos or enough information about it if it's your first time if you're kind of scared should an adult ballet like could they still be a ballerina does it make sense is it only for when you're a child what if this is always been like a dream of yours could this be like a hobby of yours so yeah um if you're new please subscribe it helps me out so much if you want to help support my channel like leave a comment i'm trying to get to a thousand followers to become like a partner with youtube you need four thousand um watch hours and i'm trying to get there because i am so appreciative that you guys are supporting my creative hobby and like passion and it means the world to me anyway let's get into the video okay so i definitely got ready for this video because i was like oh my god i definitely want to look cute okay so i'm breaking up this video in three into three different parts and i will definitely leave timestamps in the bottom below i always wanted to do it as a kid my family never had enough money and the closest i ever got to doing ballet was um oh my god i have something in my mouth Oops. was doing gymnastics and i did it for i think like about six months i once i went once every week but i had to stop eventually going because my parents couldn't afford it um which was definitely a sad day but i've always always wanted to be a ballerina even when i went through <laughs> my emo phase hi i'm just in bed but let me get y'all to see my vision the whole like all pink look is so beautiful and their elegance and it was always something super inspiring for me and i remember watching movies like uptown girls i really felt like i was dakota fanning and i loved her outfits and just like to watch the nutcracker and i i really used to like um watch all the barbie movies and collect them barbie was always so beautiful i've seen a couple ballet uh shows and i always thought again so much grace so much beauty not the black swan but like the swan lake barbie or just like the, the the videos that I watch, honestly, like the fact that they could look so amazing. And then I remember Black Swan came out and I was so intrigued because it was a ballerina movie. That kind of led to this like kind of like new world for me. It reintroduced this almost fairy tale that I had, um, even though I was like literally 13 when I watched that movie, like probably don't watch it if you're 13, by the way, if you're watching this video. It reintroduced the idea of ballet, but like as an adult, Natalie's outfits were everything. I just really liked the all pink or just like really innocent look if you guys have heard people talk about to inspire you to like work out more like dress cute for sure for ballet and i'll insert clips of me in ballet class and just like those skirts like how adorable that's kind of like where my head was at for a while and i remember looking up these um classes before i moved out to where i live now because i knew i was going to move out when i was 18 i couldn't afford it until a couple months ago i know there's this new wave of adults that needs to hear this so i'm going to talk about my journey turns out that it is better to start ballet when you're an adult yes and no your flexibility adapts better when you're younger and your posture as a kid it just becomes your life versus when you're an adult you're so used to slouching that's something definitely that again projects into your life so i remember when i looked that up as an adult your bones are already fully formed they're stronger i never worked out when i was in high school and it was until i became older that i felt like okay i really need to lose some weight and tone up my body i did yoga religiously and ballet was always something that i wanted to do and it looked really graceful and i knew that because i was consistent i had been consistent with yoga and i had seen weight loss i wanted to try ballet so eventually again when i had the money i started going twice a month and I went to this one class it wasn't my favorite only because there was a bunch of different levels but the teacher like there was always like a new sub but wasn't really consistent and eventually I wanted to go to point and I remember when I called this specific dance studio maybe it was the way that I phrased it so basically I called and I asked like would I ever be able to take a class with the rest of the students so I could learn point and they said no we don't like to mix the adults with like as in like that's an appropriate to mix adults with the students so like 
no. My dream is to be on point. I'm still like learning. I am not that far into my dance, my dance experience or my dance life or my dance journey. So that's why I want to start documenting it. Now, eventually um, COVID happened. I stopped going to ballet for a couple months and I was like, let me try somewhere new. I called this new dance studio and they said, yep, we have a couple classes like throughout the week versus just one. You can eventually level up to be in point. Now I go once a week. It is honestly, very difficult you realize how bad your posture is you become aware outside and that's something that they say in yoga too you realize like the thoughts that you think and how you talk to yourself is not just how you talk to yourself when you do yoga so aka ballet right it projects onto your life it's one of the only times that it forces you to really think about your body and nothing else if you are thinking about starting ballet as an adult please do it there's always a bunch of comments in all of the youtube videos that i watch that are like hey i'm like i don't know 61 and this has changed my life or like I never stopped doing ballet after I Started at the age of 28, etc, etc. That's what really inspired me take more than just one classes Maybe attend a couple more than just one studio if you feel like the first one that you're taking is not just right for you I also forgot to mention that I have no dance experience So you can kind of see in this video that I'm putting in here. I'm actually not very good Still I probably have been doing ballet in the new studio for about like three or so ish months but it makes me so happy you guys i love being able to go into dance class and i could never ever say this before i remember being in high school thinking like i was too cool for dance you are so connected to your body it is so cool to be able to lean into the feminine in you i don't know like almost trying to connect your body to do what you're thinking in your brain it's like a different language like sometimes i don't even know what i'm doing in ballet something that you develop as you're growing and you take dance classes is being able to follow along and adapt pretty well to new dance moves and as a adult dancer like I'm always like uh wait do that again but like a lot slower it feels like you're always learning something new I remember when I started ballet I was also trying pole dancing and just and I started kickboxing because I just wanted to try a bunch of new things and that was so fun for me but ballet again has always always been my dream I do plan to eventually go twice a week and see what kind of difference that makes in my body eventually get better because you can kind of tell I have like a sickle kind of foot. I still don't know the, any of the words. If you guys also do ballet and you're new to it kind of, or maybe you're like two years in, if you've been consistent with it, definitely leave it in the comments. Help support us and inspire us. I want to end this video with why you should start ballet if you've never done it. First of all, it's because if I'm doing a quick little haul, you wear the cutest clothes ever. Like, I just, I love how this looks. I wear it out as a shirt because, like, how cute. Like, you never stop looking cute. The skirt, like, it's beautiful. Makes you lean into your feminine, which I do think that that's something that we've almost, like, as a society strayed from. And the feminine is more of a creative core. Dance is a different language hey guys it is editing me again i just want to add in when i say the feminine that is feminine energy you can still be a male and hold space for a feminine energy feminine energy is more creative it is more um intuitive i feel like us as humans part of our journey at least my journey finding a balance in the two polarities of the the feminine and the masculine would lead me to a divine um, lifestyle. Currently in society, a lot of what we almost like praise and um, hold space for only is the masculine, which <clears throat> is like a lot of doing, doing, doing. And that's a lot of mind work or that's a lot of being in your mind versus being in your body or being in touch with your body. Ballet for me is a form of movement. Typically like, you know, yoga, dance, anything creative will help you access the feminine energy. Another reason why you should start is because it gives you a moment to actually leave everything behind and just think about you and your body. How often could you say that about yourself that you just lose yourself in like dance? You think about nothing else but self-expression. There is a community of adult dancers and beginner dancers that they were hidden before or they had nowhere to go before but now because people are posting on YouTube and stuff they're coming out but also there's such a community in 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 my dance studio that I have found it's so different like I love to have friends in different 
area codes, I'm just kidding, different friends from all aspects of life. It really teaches you so much. That is something so beautiful. And just like honestly being able to be silly, just like, oh my God, like I have no idea what she, ju she just did. Did you get that part? Like I literally didn't get it. And being able to see progress when, within each other and uplift each other. So again, if you are watching this and maybe you're like a pro dancer, please leave a comment below, something encouraging. Or if you have no experience prior and you've seen progress because you've been going for a while, please leave a comment below. In the future for this series, I really wanna do like what I wear. That was something I would look up before um, I started ballet. And also I want to do an update one year after going to ballet and how my body's changed and how it's affected me mentally. And then eventually like two years. Ballet makes me so, 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 so happy. So I'm so glad I introduced this to my channel, my more lifestyle sort of channel, you guys. I'm so happy. Ballet makes me so happy every time I leave a class. And I always like to thank my teacher. She's super patient and I appreciate that so much. If you are thinking about starting ballet, please, please give ballet a try at least a few classes and I really hope that you like this video. I hope it was helpful. I hoped I inspired you and I will see you guys soon.